The Gran Turismo sports car has made a triumphant comeback for the 2024 model year, wearing a gorgeous new look that marries old-school and new-school Maserati designs. Sitting alongside the MC20 sports car in the Maserati lineup, the Gran Turismo is offered with a detuned version of that car's white-hot Neytuno twin-turbo V6 engine. The Gran Turismo is also offered as a fully electric model called Gran Turismo Falgor, which we review separately. We also expect a convertible version called Gran Cabrio, too, but probably not until the 2025 model year. All gasoline-powered models come with all-wheel drive and an 8-speed automatic transmission. No matter the powertrain, the Gran Turismo impresses with its dual nature. Providing luxury car amenities as well as sports car-like performance and driving enjoyment. The Gran Turismo will be all new when it goes on sale in 2023, marking a return of the nameplate that disappeared from the Maserati lineup after the 2019 model year. The Gran Turismo is offered in base Medina and performance-oriented Trofeo trims and we'd go with the latter. The Trofeo comes with more horsepower and includes unique forged wheels, an electronically locking differential, and racier-looking exterior and interior design elements. Engine, Transmission, and Performance The Gran Turismo gets a detuned version of the MC20 sports car's twin-turbo V6 engine. The entry-level Medina trim makes 483 horsepower but upgrading to the Trofeo boosts power to 542 ponies. Both models are capable of quiet and comfortable cruising. The engine is both characterful and sonorous, and its unique twin combustion design has roots in Formula 1 racing. The most powerful Gran Turismo model will be the all-electric Falgor, reviewed separately, which makes a combined 750 horsepower from its three electric motors. All gasoline-powered Gran Turismo models come standard with an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive, a manual transmission is not offered. With the drive mode set to comfort, the standard air suspension soaks up bumps admirably and delivers a smooth, even ride. In sport mode, the Gran Turismo transforms into a more focused sports car, with firmer suspension settings, heavier weighted steering, and a more baritone exhaust note emanating from the tailpipes. With its launch control function engaged, Maserati claims the 483 horsepower Gran Turismo Medina is capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, which is only 0.5 seconds slower than what the more powerful and lighter MC20 did at our test track. The 542 horsepower Trofeo model boasts a claimed 0 to 60 mph of 3.5 seconds. While the Gran Turismo's chassis is dynamically well sorted, we wished its brakes were more confidence inspiring. As the car we drove for our initial test drive had a limp-feeling pedal despite what seemed like decent braking performance. When we get a chance to drive the Gran Turismo on our home turf, we'll update this story with test results. Fuel Economy and Real World MPG More information about the Gran Turismo's fuel economy will be revealed closer to the car's on-sale date, and we'll update this story with information as it becomes available. Once we get a production model in for testing, We'll also put it through our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test and report our findings. Interior, comfort, and cargo. The Gran Turismo is a two-door, two-plus two four-seater with a small back seat that's as much about luxury as speed. The cabin is draped in high-end materials and upscale finishes, and Maserati has baked in plenty of amenities throughout the design. Comfortable front seats and good outward visibility make the Gran Turismo easy to live with daily and would be accommodating on a long drive. Rear seat space is slightly more generous than the previous generation model, but it's still a space best left for kids or handbags. The trunk appears large enough for a weekend trip's worth of luggage, but when we get a Gran Turismo to our office we'll test it to see how many carry-on suitcases it can fit. When the Gran Cabrio debuts, expect the car's trunk to decrease capacity as it makes room for stowing a folding fabric roof. Infotainment and Connectivity Maserati's latest infotainment system, a Google-based system that debuted on the Grey Kale, is offered also standard on the new Gran Turismo. A 12.3-inch touchscreen is mounted centrally on the dashboard with a smaller 8.8-inch display mounted just below that to handle climate control settings. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration are included and work wirelessly. A head-up display provides at-a-glance info such as speed and navigation directions in the driver's line of sight. Italian audio tuner Sonus Faber created the Gran Turismo stereo system, which includes up to 19 speakers. 
Stay tuned to Auto RBX for all the latest, and let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.